Hi everyone, it's Emma here and this week I am answering the question Can UTIs make you more thirsty? So this is something that we've been asked recently quite a few times on the Able Will Helpline where you're all welcome to come and ask us health and product related questions. So I just thought I would do a little video on this and as always ex try and explain some of the underlying mechanisms and why this might be happening and of course what else uh, we should be aware of. Um, so the first scenario that this could happen in which you're more thirsty is that there is indeed a bladder infection otherwise known as cystitis. So dehydration may or may not be a factor as well so that's another reason that we would become thirsty but if there is an infection this means that there's um, bacteria in and around the bladder and naturally your body wants you to flush that out so this is where you may get the thirst um, prompt as well. Um, we know how beneficial drinking enough water and being properly hydrated is, especially in light of UTIs and there is actually some nice research that I can reference as well that shows that in a care home setting, so particularly in older people that this study had looked at, um, improving your hydration status did actually help to prevent the occurrence of, of UTIs so there is some research to back that up that it is definitely helpful. On that topic of older adults, actually older individuals, um, it's quite interested in that um, the, the thirst prompt does change as we get older um, and many people, first of all, many people are dehydrated um, and not necessarily getting that thirst prompt. Um, so that's why it's really important to keep up drinking your regular water intake, even when you don't necessarily feel particularly thirsty. And then feel thirsty, that might be meaning that we're, we're particularly dehydrated. Um, but also these, these thirst signals tend to become less effective um, as we get older which is counterproductive since we know how helpful it is to remain um, hydrated um, and it seems that these thirst sensors get a little bit confused and that it takes less water to switch them off so as we become older we may think our bodies may tell us that they're pro properly hydrated we're not thirsty and we've had enough um, but actually we may just need to be more consciously um, aware of our water intake as those thirst receptors and, and thirst cues aren't quite as effective as they once were. In the case of this typical scenario, this typical case of um, cystitis and UTIs and those related symptoms, this would be something where our ovarsi and echinacea would come in as well. Of course, along with your water intake, you would take this separately in a small splash of water um, and that um, can help to target some of those symptoms head on and quite quickly as well. The second scenario where we may um, feel more thirsty is if there is perhaps a case of an underlying interstitial cystitis. So this can be a little bit more complicated. There's generally a wider spectrum of symptoms, but generally there are some inflammatory mechanisms underlying. Constipation is very often underlying and intertwined in the symptoms as well. So again, this often has links with hydration status and or that inflammation. Again, inflammation in the gut, the urinary tract, your body naturally wants to work hard to try and flush that out, which could prompt more thirst but of course if you're dehydrated as part of the constipation then that's an, an extra reason that your body would be wanting to encourage more water intake as well. The next one up area I want to flag is the possibility of a kidney infection. So as we know these urinary tract infections can occur at any stage of the urinary tract. The kidneys are higher up and um, so that bacteria has to go a bit further to reach the kidneys. Generally kidney infections are considered much more serious and they would need to be treated under the guidance of your doctor. Um, so with a more severe infection, there may be more severe, more pronounced symptoms. So excessive thirst could be a part of that. And um, so this would just be one to consider, one to, to watch out for, perhaps if there's any other telltale symptoms such as back pain. Um, but generally with this, this 
um, symptom of thirst, we would be wanting you to check with your doctor anyway in case it's any of these um, issues. Um, so this is more for your information, but your doctor should always be the one to confirm exactly what the cause is. Just on my last note there, there could also be other things that could be contributing, such as diabetes, for example. This can affect your urine output, your kidneys. Again, something that your doctor would need to be diagnosing. And just to reiterate, this symptom again can be linked to other things. So it would be one that we would want you to check. I hope that's been useful though. Thank you for listening and please do leave any comments or questions below and we will get back to you. If you are watching this on YouTube, please also do subscribe to our AVOGO YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of any future videos. Thanks, take care and speak soon.